Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. So today we have news about a possible Bad Company title, and that's something that comes out of the mouth of Battlefield Bad Company 2's lead designer and lead writer, David Goldfarb. And he simply just says he is willing to make a new Bad Company title if EA wants a new game. Simple as that. And he has a full interview with PC Games N, and we are going to take a look at that interview. He says some interesting things about uh, the possibility of having a Bad Company title in the future, and actually things about EA and how the gaming industry is shifting towards something that might not actually welcome a new Bad Company title. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and take a look at this article and see what Goldfarb actually has to say. So Goldfarb says, quote, I'm right here. They, referring to EA, know where I am if they want to do one. And Goldfarb is actually working with Outsiders, the creator of Metal Hellsinger. And so he has a studio right now. And if you guys haven't played Metal Hellsinger, it's a pretty solid demon shooter. It's an FPS game. And for you guys who just love metal music, it's going to be a rock solid game. Well, he says that he would love to do another Bad Company, theoretically. He also adds that he is happily committed to his current work. Quote, I have a studio, a project, and a team, which actually makes sense. But let's take a look at what he says about Bad Company. Quote, I think the Bad Company franchise was special because it didn't take itself seriously in the, in the way many other games did. It prioritized fun and was totally cool with being what it was. My personal angle was to always make what I liked, so Bad Company 2 was very much Raiders of the Lost Ark as a buddy picture, and the multiplayer leaned into Rush Hard because that was what I liked the most. I can't speak for anyone else, but I know there was a collective feeling that we had our own identity for Bad Company, weird or not, and we were going to enjoy making it. It is actually something of a miracle we got to do it. However, now things get a bit interesting. With regards to Bad Company 3, Goldfarb says that he, quote, had started writing it and knew where it would take place. However, he is uncertain whether a new Bad Company game get approved today given the current condition of mainstream development. So he continues, quote, there aren't games like Bad Company at that production quality anymore. Most big productions will not take those bets because they believe that they can look backwards to predict success and looking backwards makes Bad Company and its humor and approach look like an anomaly, which is I would say quite right to be honest. Just taking a look back at, at how funny the single player was, for example, like gaming industry isn't in the previous shape that it was like 10 years ago, 15 years ago. A lot of gamers are not even fulfilled with like something like a Battlefield 4 today. Like imagine having a Battlefield 4 being released today, just right now. A lot of people have really corrupted minds and they don't really accept it even a game, even like a masterpiece like Battlefield 4. All of those things need to be taken into consideration, really. So Goldfarb continues, quote, as with all these fucking places, that's why we don't see those kind of games anymore. Because economics and risk aversion and all the other shit turn people away from it. In many ways, Bad Company 2 was a perfect storm, though. I don't think if we could do it again like that. So I really have to agree with Goldfarb on this one. I don't think they really can actually do that again. You know, there are so many people in my comment section, I see so many people on Reddit asking for a Bad Company 3, like they want the next Battlefield game to be a Bad Company 3. And I have no idea why these guys are actually uh, putting a lot of pressure on themselves and on like studios developing this game. So just name it Bad Company 3. The whole thing about Bad Company was humor and the, like being a, a different Battlefield, a different kind of Battlefield. If you look at Bad Company 2 and compare it to Battlefield 3 and 4, you can already see how uh, serious and like tough Battlefield 3 and 4 are and how easygoing Bad Company 2 is. And believe it or not, just because you name a Battlefield title, for example, Bad Company 3, it doesn't mean that DICE and other studios working on it are not able to ruin it. Like, if they are going to mess it up, they're going to mess up Bad Company 3, they're going to mess up Battlefield 6, it doesn't really matter what the name is. And believe me, developing a Bad Company title requires a lot more. And I do believe at this point, DICE is just not able to deliver that. We don't even know for sure if they are able to deliver the next Battlefield game at an acceptable level. We just don't know that. 
let alone having a bad company three. So I've never been in the same boat with people who say we want a bad company three because literally bad company is like the only untouched masterpiece that's left from the Battlefield franchise. If you look back at bad company, I would say those games are the only Battlefield titles that are just not touched by the corruption that's already in the gaming industry. They're really not touched by it. And if EA tries to actually go down that path and start actually thinking about a bad company three, then it probably gets touched by that corruption and it's gonna fade in history, just like all the other Battlefield titles. So that's not really what we wanna happen. If there is going to be a bad company three, which is really unlikely in my opinion, but if there is going to be one, I just want it to be delivered and developed in a timeline where DICE knows what they are doing and actually gets their shit together that's something i want to see because imagine having battlefield bad company 3 and it's a mess up just think about it it's, re it's really not going to be cool and it's going to hit battlefield franchise even worse worse than 2042 worse than battlefield 5 worse than anything you can think of but what goldfarb says is really interesting he says he was writing the story for the next battlefield bad company title and that's very interesting probably in the middle of that process it was informed that ea is not willing to invest into that game anymore and things got cancelled but he was writing it and he knew where it would take place like we had literally a location for the battlefield bad company 3 title maybe it wasn't going to be called Bad Company 3, but that's just the probable name for it. So with all that said, go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, let me know if you do agree with having a new Battlefield Bad Company 3. Do you really wish for the next Battlefield game to be called a Bad Company title? Or you just don't see DICE actually being able to pull something like that off just now? At least right now, do you really think that they can do it? Or do you even think it's possible for the next Battlefield game to be called a Bad Company title? In my opinion, that's literally impossible. We know from the leaks that it's going to be called Battlefield or Battlefield 6. Like, they just haven't decided yet between Battlefield or Battlefield 6. We, we know that as a leak. It was from Tom Henderson, Insider Gaming. Those leaks are just legit. You know it. I know it. But yeah, let me know what you think. Hope this was helpful and hope this video was informative. If so, do make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel because this is a place for Battlefield players and generally people who like FPS games. I'm going to be here covering all the news, especially around Battlefield franchise, uh, the guides around Battlefield 2042 and things like that. You know the drill. So go ahead and do that. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, stay cool.